and it's a tool we used to find out a resource that allowed us to climb from the bottom of the food chain to the top of the food chain. A willingness to embrace fear dictates how successful one may be because everybody has it. I find that flying in the red zone is where success really lives. It's that place where you feel the risk, you feel the anxiety, you feel the, the, the total uncertainty, and you still propel yourself in that zone. And that's where your great success, your exponential success lives. Because most of the time when you have a fear in your journey, that 90% of the time before you move to the end of it and get the result, it doesn't happen. The junk and crap and things that propel you and make you anxious and tight and uncomfortable and, and not be able to act, that fear, 90% of the time, the event doesn't happen. Because really what fear is, think of it differently. F-E-A-R. Think of it as false evidence appearing real. It appears real to you. But actually, most of the time, it's false evidence. You're not really looking at it correctly, peeling it back, seeing what makes it work, and finding out that it's a false tale. Second navigational state, uncertainty. Uncertainty. The more, the, the amount of success an organization or individual can have is directly proportional to the amount of uncertainty it or they or you can bear. Now, the idea that certainty is certainty, certainty is an illusion. You can't be certain of anything. Always we're tipped over by, by it. So we want to welcome uncertainty, because what does uncertainty does? Does it ask you a question? It doesn't ask you, really, just how to. It asks you, what if? What if there's a different result? What if there's a different way to go through it? It makes you curious rather than critical. So questions are everything. Questions are what propel us. Answers are fundamentally one thing. But questions make us curious. In an uncertain world, questions support that uncertainty and give you an opportunity to find your way through.